Hi Bio20! In this video, we're going to be talking about the very last biogeochemical cycle, which is the nitrogen cycle. So this is going to be the outline for my diagram. I have some biotic things like a tree and a moose and my decomposers. Okay, I also have a legend here if you guys want to follow along. The legend goes through each of the different processes, so I'm going to be using different colors and also different types of arrows. So we have nitrogen fixation, nitrification, ammonification, and denitrification that I'm going to be explaining in this video. If you guys want to start by outlining the diagram, that would be fantastic. So we start with atmospheric nitrogen, nitrogen gas, which makes up 78.1% of our atmosphere, but is absolutely and completely useless to organisms that need nitrogen in their bodies. We can't breathe it in, even though it's most of our atmosphere. So we have to put it into our soil first. So we're going to use nitrogen fixation, and we're going to put it in our soil by either lightning or legumes. So we have nitrogen fixation taking this atmospheric nitrogen and putting it into the soil in the form of ammonium, NH4, positive. So once it's in the soil, that's fantastic. We're taking a step in the right direction, but unfortunately ammonium is not helpful for organisms either, can make them super sick. So we need to convert this ammonium into actual nitrogen that is usable in the form of nitrate. So we're going to use some bacteria and the process of nitrification using bacteria, which we call nitrifying bacteria. And we're going to make some nitrate. Okay, once we have that nitrate, it can be absorbed by organisms like trees and plants. They can use it within their roots and their stems and their leaves. And when organisms eat the roots and the stems and the leaves, they are going to get some of that nitrate. When these organisms die and become decomposed, we put the nitrogen back in the soil but it has to be in the form of ammonium and these decomposers go through the process of ammonification. Okay, it's slightly different because it's using decomposers and producing ammonium and we would do a little bit more nitrification from that ammonium to produce nitrates again that can be picked up by the plants and then the animals and then decompose and this can happen over and over and over again. So that's awesome, we finally have nitrogen that is usable, but sometimes we might not have oxygen present in the soil for this bacteria to get nitrogen in the right form. So what they'll do is they'll use the nitrogen from ammonium. If they don't have oxygen though to make nitrate, because nitrate is nitrogen and oxygen formed together, but if there's no oxygen to do that, it uses the nitrogen from ammonium, and unfortunately, the rest of the nitrogen gets released back into the atmosphere. So super unhelpful in the process of denitrification. So it's the opposite of nitrification, which is when we're making nitrate. We're unable to make nitrate, so we just release a bunch of nitrogen into the atmosphere, and it's super unhelpful. So that is kind of what's happening with our organisms over and over and over again. But humans also have impacts on this cycle. So first of all, when we're burning fossil fuels, so for example, when I'm driving a car, there are nitrogen compounds in fossil fuels, and when you burn them, you make nitrogen oxides, which go into the atmosphere and eventually get broken into atmospheric nitrogen. We also put things into the soil like fertilizer. Okay, fertilizer has nitrogen in it, and it's adding ammonium to the soil so that eventually this nitrifying bacteria can break it into nitrates and the plants that we want to grow a whole bunch will eventually use those nitrates to grow and form different things within them. So basically, that is the nitrogen cycle. This also happens in water as well, but it's using different organisms instead of using trees and legumes and things like that. It's using phytoplankton and zooplankton and it would be picked up by fish and things like that. So we will talk about the water version of this in class, but you guys have to know this version of this 
for your drawing quiz tomorrow. Hopefully it makes sense. If it doesn't, please don't hesitate to ask questions. But if you don't have questions, have a wonderful evening. I'll see you guys all in class tomorrow. And good night.